School is almost over for Alachua students and teachers this semester, and while summer vacation brings rest and relaxation, Gainesville police say they will not be getting a break. Gainesville police say they expect to see a rise in crimes committed by teenagers, especially during the hours when they would normally be in school. Gans is like a cancer. If you catch it early, it will not kill you. That's the message Tito Acasio of Acala shares now with teens and young adults. He knows about gangs because he joined one when he was 17 years old. I thought for me it was like a family, protection, respect, but it was none of the above. Gainesville Police and Alachua County Schools are looking to start an anti-gang education program called GREAT. A wonderful program as far as I'm concerned is to educate the younger children on gangs and what to look for, how to stay away from them. Detective McCollum says there are 10 documented gangs in Alachua County and that number is growing. As for Acasio, he says he takes one jab at a time with hopes of reaching as many kids as possible. When I used to commit my crimes, afterward you, you feel pain. You know, I don't carry guns no more, I carry my Bible. I would say that people need to worry about guns in schools. That's definitely one of the big things that's been going on. And for us to only find three this year around school-related events is, I mean, three is a lot for Alachua County. That's something we need to be scared of. Everybody should be frightened of that and, and do everything we can to stop more of it from happening. In our local schools in Alachua County, we've seen uh, individuals flagging either black bandanas, red bandanas, and they're representing usually national gangs. We do have students in Alachua County that are affiliated with national gangs, such as the Bloods, such as Gangster Disciples, and they have worn their bandanas in school. Uh, I grew up in South Central Los Angeles, uh, just right where they shot the movie Boys in the Hood, right there in 74th and Crenshaw. Before I lived in 74th and Crenshaw, we lived on 48th Street, uh, not far from Western Boulevard. And in fact, our house became, well, first became a football field for Horseman Junior High School, and now they've got classroom buildings there. And so, uh, I lived there, oh, left there in 1983, uh, grew up there and just saw this whole progression of, you know, gang activity and people joining gangs and how was the, uh, the lack of male presence and men being accountable for raising their families, you know, help, you know, plant the seeds for this gang activity. The next phase for Gainesville especially since now that you hear about the neighborhoods are starting to sell drugs is to be like Los Angeles, where when the guys started discovering that they could make money selling crack and then the money that they got from the crack could turn into guns and cars, um, that's where Gainesville is headed if they don't get under control. And if we continue to put our head in the sand and ignore the fact that there are gangs here. A lot of people just don't want to admit it. They, they are absolutely turning their back to the idea that they could have gang members in their school or around their community and that's and, and that's the result of a lot of the crimes are through these young gang members and it's a true statement to this day do you know where your kids are